Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you that future. That future. That future. That future. <laughs> Fast forward to October 17th, 2020, <laughs> the day Chris played his worst round of golf. <laughs> Ever. The day he insisted on playing nine holes even though the weather was crummy and Kelly didn't seem super thrilled about it and did not want to grind it out in the subpar conditions. No pun intended. Chris had the worst eight holes of his life, that is, until the ninth hole when he got down on one knee and proposed to Kelly. Ever since the first day I met you, <laughs> and what started as the worst round of golf ever ended in what will be your best round of golf ever. Check, check. All right. Oh boy. All right, Kelly. <laughs> Dreamed about this very moment, oh boy. Um. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can do that right now. I don't know, I'm gonna mess up my, my makeup too. Thank you guys so much for making it out here. I mean, you guys are my best friends and you know, people I love the most. From that show, Ted Lasso, there's a quote that I really wanted to share today. And it's, be curious, <laughs> be curious, not judgmental. And that kind of fit you perfectly, because you have so many friends. I mean, look at everyone here today. This could have been like 2,000 people. And just Kelly's like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I dreamed about this very moment for all my life. To marry the girl of my dreams, and here she is standing right here in front of me. You took my breath away the moment I laid eyes on you. The feeling that came over me that day was something I never felt before. Some might call it butterflies. Others might describe it as your heart skipping a beat. Well, the only way I can describe that feeling is, wow, I just met the person I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with. I, love you. I knew we were a match made in heaven. We were going to be together after the first couple dates. The fact you still wanted to be with me after seeing that a 26-year-old man had a Pokemon bath pad <laughs> in his apartment, after giving you the most awkward high five <laughs> instead of a hug after you left our second date after watching the NBA Finals, <laughs> and you not even skipping a beat when I asked you the most important hard-hitting question, who was the most mediocre reliever in Tiger's history. Without hesitation, you answered, full Coke, of course. And didn't even think twice, that might have been the most bizarre thing to ask on a first date. <laughs> you accepting me and loving me for the person I am only solidified that we are a perfect match. <laughs> Our chemistry, connection, and trust for one another has created an inseparable bond which will never be broken. You have brought out the best version of myself, allowing me to open up, share my feelings, be confident, which is extremely difficult for me to do always worrying about what others might think or say if I didn't say or do the correct thing. Here I stand today, oh man, the happiest I've ever been in my life. I cannot wait to feel this overall joy and happiness for the rest of my life knowing that I'm with you. I love you Kellyanne Maxwell, or sorry, wow, I love you so much Kellyanne <laughs> Maxwell, soon to be Hagen, and everything about you. I love your beautiful smile, which lights up the whole room and makes my heart melt every time I see it. I love your laugh, and how infectious it is, and it brings so much happiness and joy, and I love that we have that playful and joking side of our relationship. I love your beauty. I don't think I have to elaborate much on this one. <laughs> I think everyone here in the audience would agree that I'm marrying the most beautiful and gorgeous person in the whole world. I love your passion, determination, and commitment in all aspects in life, never taking no for an answer. I love your confidence, never being afraid to say what's on your mind and stand up for what you believe in. I love your dedication and emphasis on your friends and family. But most important, I love you for you. You're the most amazing person in the whole world, and there's no word strong enough to describe my feelings for you and how much I love you. I promise to, to always be there for you and protect you and Freddie in good, <laughs> in good times and bad. I had to say that one. I promise to continue to grow, develop, and become the best man, husband, and father if God does bless with children someday. 
I promise to always be your flight partner <laughs> and be there to overcome any anxiety that comes with flying. I promise to always make the bed the correct way before going to bed <laughs> and give you a forehead kiss in the morning before I leave for work. I promise to always buy cans of Diet Coke to make sure there's always snacks in the pantry <laughs> so you won't go hungry before dinner and to never chew ice in front of you. Thank you. I promise to always cheer for the Detroit Tigers, Lions, Pistons, Central Michigan Chippewas, fire up, uh, Michigan State Spartans, go green, and the Red Wings when they are playing the Maple Leafs. I promise to also land this plane because this could go on forever. <laughs> I promise to be your rock, your go-to person, your problem solver, ready to work through and overcome any hardships that we face in life. I promise to always be compassionate and to make you feel loved every single day. I promise to always be your best friend. I promise to always love you now and for the rest of our lives. It makes me so happy to see you happy because I can't, can't think of anyone that deserves it more. You're like my family, and I'm so happy that you found someone that I can now call family as well. It's hard to believe it's really our wedding day. We've talked about this day for so long. Even before real wedding planning began, two months after we started dating, we knew this day would come. When I first met you, I told all of my friends that you were the nicest person I've ever met but there's no way anyone is really that nice. But wow, did you prove me wrong. You are generous, giving, thoughtful, and most importantly, you make everyone around you feel loved and valued. How lucky am I that I get to feel that way every day of my life. Your dedication to being an amazing friend might require us to have an Excel document for our social life, but it has inspired and encouraged me to be a better friend. You and I already have been through so much together. That gives me the confidence to know that you'll be by my side for the rest of our lives. You are my biggest supporter, my safe place, and my best friend. You love all the parts of me, even the parts I don't love about myself. We've never tried to change each other, but have celebrated our differences and encouraged each other to grow. So on our wedding day, I vow to you that I will continue to love and grow with you and to only sometimes make fun of your Haganisms. I vow to stand by your side through every phase of our lives. I'll celebrate your victories and help you through the struggles, especially when the Maple Leafs continue to lose game seven. <laughs> Sorry. I vow to love you even when it's not easy. I vow to never let life change the incredible man that you are, because the man standing here before me, my husband, should never ever change. I promise to be your faithful and loving husband to stay forward. Is that it? Close it. Okay, all right. I promise to be your faithful and loving wife from this day forward. Today before God, your family and friends, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Chris, you may kiss the bride. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you all for the very first time Husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Chris and Kelly Hagan. All right, Chris, now it's your turn. So before I start, though, um, there's actually something under your chair I need you to grab. I think so. I think, uh, no, whatever you want to do. Do you want to take a knee? Yeah. Look around us, there ain't no fences, just bridges to the ears of the listeners. On deck, take a swing, shopping senses, looking for a weakness in the system. Finally, it's you and me, here shaking like a tambourine. We in this finally, both sides of the cemetery. While I was in college, my sister, who shockingly was running late, managed to sideswipe my father's parked company car in our driveway. Despite rear backup cameras, sensors, bells. It was broad daylight. 
Yet a near three months later, she did the same thing to the grill of my new car, which was also parked in the driveway. <laughs> However, the cars are not the only victims in Kelly's life. She has also fallen prey to her own occasional, frequent clumsiness. She has single-handedly supported our state and regional urgent care facilities. Thank you to our first responders. This is for everybody. There are too many memories and stories for me to share, mostly because our best memories are from some of our worst ideas, and really, I can't believe you survived them. <laughs> We've been through a lot together. CMU days, living in different states, moving back home, back with our parents, moving out, starting new chapters, and just know I am truly blessed to have you as a best friend. What was your favorite moment of the day? <clears throat> um, I don't know. I mean, honestly, who could ask for a better groom cry, right? Like 10 out of 10 groom cry. My favorite part of the day was Mary and Kelly. Oh, great job. 